Hi, Karina. Thank you so much for coming to Bristol. How are you? I'm doing well, Max. Thank you so much for having me today. It's great to have the opportunity. Before talking about Anya Global, should we give an introduction to yourself? Yeah, I'd love to, yes. Um, I'm uh, Karina Murray, and I'm the founder and CEO of Anua Global, which is a, a play on words for an Irish word, meaning a new, um, and a new world, a new world uh, for youth and for impact is uh, is really the mission. Um, but um, I'm, I'm all the way over here in Ireland, and uh, they call it the Emerald Isle. Um, so it's... Um, yeah, it's been a it's been an incredible journey um, getting to this point with Anua. Um, I suppose a little bit about my own background and self. Um, I suppose I've spent the last five years uh, working on um, initiatives I felt really passionate about and started out as um, a mom of two kids. Uh, initially set out after a nine year career break uh, back out into the world and felt uh, I needed to find my way back again. So. Um, I set up a personal development program initially for women, and I it was uh, a new me I was looking for. So that's where a new I came from. Um, so it's got a you know it's been quite a journey um, along the way. It's been incredible um, learning so much from so many different people and the opportunities um, to really connect with people and find out what was really needed out there. Uh, so it has been like a uh, a scholarship of five years of my life has really kind of gone into learning about the real needs of people um my focus changed um to children because I realized the desperate um lack of resources that were there for our children um as a mom of two myself um I was fearful of the future um, and, um, you know, I was really inspired by a lot of um, people along the way. And uh, I felt compelled to do something. Um, I see that the world we're facing has got such uncertainty. And um, I really felt I needed to do something to try and play my part in changing things. Um, you know, I'm a real advocate for children, for youth. Um, and I feel we need to give them the platform and the opportunity to, to share their messages and, and to shine. Um, there's so much uh, that they have to say and I think that us as responsible adults have got to give them the opportunity so um, and that's why really it's been a mission with Anua to create a new global opportunity for young people to inspire each other all around the world to be the voices for change to fly their flags and be proud and uh, stand united and really kind of step into those leadership roles that we need for our future children to be in. Um, so it has been uh, incredible. I've been inspired by so many people and so many children that have been incredible um, and are doing amazing work um, in the impact field. And yet um, they find it difficult to get that support. So it's uh, really, it's all about how can we create a better world and really step into, um, you know, um, step behind them, get behind them and really give them the opportunities. So it's, uh, yeah, it's been a, a labor of love for me all of these years. And I really, you know, feel that at this stage now, it's been about really, as they say here, lining all the ducks up in a row to show people the value that we have to bring and the real potential and the opportunities that are here uh, to shift the way we see things and to really kind of, um, you know, and get behind our young people and um, and create a, a movement for change. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's a long way of putting it. But yeah. oh, absolutely fine. I mean, <clears throat> I'm a big fan of creating the right impact for youth. So absolutely, I'm there. Uh, I do agree. <clears throat> Sorry, what you're doing is extremely great. Let's talk more, um, a little bit more in details. Yeah, I'll go through. A couple of the um the newer global um basically i'll just talk you through it's a social impact enterprise organization based in dublin in ireland and uh as i said we're flying the flags for youth for impact as we stand in support of their mission for good in alignment uh we align all our values uh, with each one of the united nations global goals and aim to support each one to continue to evolve and grow so i'm not going to read it out but basically what this is about is that 
there's so many we know that there's you know there is a guide um the united nations did come up with a guide of these 17 global goals which are incredibly important and i think that for us to have a sense of connecting with a goal that's important to them is really important um and this literally that's kind of where the a lot of the guidance is I think that we could shift so much in we talk about emotional wellness um, and mental health challenges our youth are facing I think that giving them a sense of value and purpose is so extremely important to change everything and giving them a focus on something to really feel that they're part of um, is really is really really important so I'll move on here and what we do is basically there is a, a couple of different initiatives starting from the very beginning. Um, a new academy was all about the emotional well-being. So mental health, the whole stigma with that, really it's all about how can we encourage young people to be more connected, um, to kind of really get more um, a sense of um, how we, they can tap into their inner resources. Um, and um, that program with it was, was one of our pro programs, which I'll mention is ROAR. It's about recognizing your great strengths and abilities but I'll go into that actually that's longer uh, further along in the presentation but it's really about the emotional well-being of children and then a new heroes is all about how we champion young people how we can get behind them and 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 really kind of um and give them the opportunity to be the real heroes of our of our of our day which they are you know they're the ones that inspire us to want to create a better world so we, we mission is to nurture young creative minds as they thrive and grow in this new age of leadership. Uh, we know we need to have good, strong leaderships and um, instilling strong sense of value and purpose and self-awareness, compassion and connection among young people will help create positive change in their lives and their schools and their homes and the communities um, and addressing the ongoing global mental health epidemic through establishing collaborations with leading industrial experts in the fields of psychology, education, economy, environment issues, and emotional well-being. So the problem, yeah, we all know there's there's so many problems. Um, I'm uh, I always harp on about our educational system, um, and it's we're not preparing our children for the future that lies ahead. Uh, we've all wit witnessed firsthand the constraints of an academic educational system and how it stifles creativity and dims the lights of children, um, the eyes of our children and teeming young youth population as they focus to conform to lecture and, um, and the environment that fail to recognize the importance of nurturing the emotional and creative development of children. Um, really, it's just about, you know, I think, there's so much pressure um, on our young people, and we know the educational system is is failing to um, is failing to prepare our children for the reality of the our, of our of our world and, and and the future of education really needs to change. I think there's a lot of fear around that, but we obviously know that there's a lot of work to be done in this space. Um, that, so that is um, a major problem. The solution. Okay, so we look at the solution and we look at the emotional well being with the new academy. Um, what we're looking to do is help support our young people with tapping into the resources and how they can actually connect with um, dealing with those emotional and um, mental health issues. And then a new heroes is about championing young people and giving them, I suppose, an opportunity to express themselves um, through various different ways. Um, and Newer Heroes, we actually have worked with a lot of young people and um, through mentorship and support with them and giving them opportunities to share what they would like to, their message with the world through media. We've done this through um, a TV show we had on Firefox TV where we had siblings from Canada 10 and seven, uh, 17, uh, who are incredible um, siblings who basically interviewed young impactful leaders around the world. And uh, we ran this show out and we're, we're still um, creating more of these um, opportunities for young people to be hosts of their own shows. Um, because a lot of young people like to be able to get involved with media and, and like to be able to, um, these opportunities are great. And obviously magazines and publications and um we have uh, Unite as one of our magazines as well, where we had um, uh, 
a 14 year old um, who was actually the editor of that magazine publication. It was all about the kids stories and really the media end of things is, is really impactful because there's so many young people that are actually well, well able to write poems or articles or share stories and contribute in those ways. Um, and um, and with the new academy, there's a lot of different uh, initiatives there we have with the Roar program. I'll go into a few as well um, now. So these are some of our programs. Uh, the Metaverse Academy, which is a really exciting one. Um, I'll go through more detail. There's the Roar program, which is an acronym for recognizing your strengths, opening up your self-awareness and acceptance and then reconnecting. Um, there's Generation Unite, is connecting generations together, uh, our seniors in communities um, with our, our juniors. Uh, and then the, the Kindfulness Project, well, I'll go through them in more detail. So to train and engage and impact um, a minimum of 100,000 young people across the globe through the Anua Metaverse Academy. I'll go through um, a couple of the initiatives. Um, I suppose one that's really exciting is... Um, we're all hearing about the metaverse and uh, never in my wildest dreams did I ever imagine my my stage in life that, you know, what's possible um, through the metaverse. And um, when I was uh, introduced to the opportunities, I was blown away because I always wondered how can we impact and create the biggest, largest conversation in the world? How are we ever going to be able to do that? And we know our young people are all on technology and the times we're living in are moving at a radical pace. Um, and we all need to basically be aware that, you know, of, of keeping up with the times and what's going to happen. So I think with a lot of organizations, they realize the metaverse is a wonderful opportunity for um, people to be able to create those um you know, uh, opportunities to connect, um, to come into environments and be able to really be able to, for businesses and for education too. So, um, and I think that, you know, it can be daunting because I think that a lot of us don't want to see our young people sitting in a, in, in a, in a dark room watching um, technology. It's not the world that we want to see. Uh, those are not the type of leadership we want, to, you know, we want to ru ruling the world, but it's a case of that. The reality is that there is going to be um, this new future and, you know, we have to be aware of how can we connect and educate young people to come back out from that and realize that what they can learn through the metaverse and the experiences they can have um, can come back out into the world and be incredible, um, you know, be able to take what they've learned, that knowledge, those experiences, and be able to make the impact in the real world, whereas the reality is that the real world is where we need the impact. Um, so it's uh, it's quite extraordinary. Uh, one of our partners, uh, Rhino XOR Studios, um, have created an incredible metaverse, and we're looking to build the Anua Academy within that metaverse. Um, a new global will become the umbrella and the community um, that will look to bring people in and align uh, corporates with incredible opportunities to be able to build. We'll be able to build their metaverse for them um, through our sponsorship packages and uh, they'll be able to have um, amazing uh, opportunities of advertising their corporates within our community, our global community, uh, affiliated marketing and being able to offer our young uh, growing community within Anua um, the opportunity to, uh, you know, be incredibly, um, I suppose, what's the word I'd use, incredible opportunities for our young people to be able to come in as interns, probably learn through and be more connected with corporates and be able to earn and learn through the metaverse too. Um, and uh, there's amazing opportunities in that space. But I think with, you know, regards to creating your own shop or your own event or any of these things, uh, it'll be amazing to see what we're able to create in that space. And the academy we're looking to build will be one themed on um, impact and uh, aligning a lot of our young youth ambassadors as um, events uh, with their events that they want to host and uh, the, the different conversations we'll be able to have in that, in that space. Um, you know, a lot of young people be able to come together and be able to meet their tribe and be inspired by each other. And, uh, and learn about the world with the world. Uh, learn what it's like to see through the lens of a, 
a boy in Africa that's doing something incredibly impactful. And now he can connect with a, a young person in Ireland and the, and the, the life changing things that can happen within that space of being able to bring somebody into your world and being able to explain, you know, how that could look. But yeah, there's uh, lots of opportunities in the metaverse. Um, there's incredible, there's different projects. There's the Generation Unite project, which is a lot of seniors in our community are incredibly knowledgeable people that walk amongst us with all this amazing knowledge and how could we transfer that knowledge and create opportunities for that generation that has perhaps retired and have lots of time how we can bring them back out as mentors and guides to help inspire young people and help them on their career pathways um you know i think that there's amazing opportunities in that space so that's one of the programs that we're actually uh we're working on with communities now at the moment we're and then the RAW program is one we're actually having, um, we'll have online um, online uh, uh, gatherings for young people to come together and be able to learn um, more about, you know, how ways that they can tap into uh, their RAW and how to be able to be um, involved in different events that are online. But yet um, it'll help navigate them in directions where we can bring them in towards the metaverse and then out from the metaverse as well. When it comes to learning their roar, they can actually be involved in both programs. So it's about lining things. Um, and the roar program is um, is one of our core projects that has been uh, running in schools and in communities. And it's been um, so be really interesting to see how we can actually start really uh, leveraging this out there now. And um, and uh, yeah, so it's an acronym, as I said, for recognizing your your strengths and abilities, opening up your self-awareness, um, acceptance, and then it's about reconnecting with your life and your purpose. Um, your, your, let's say, first of all, let me ask you, how do you support your, uh, your activity? Um, you know, it's been, um, it's amazing the, uh, the people involved uh, literally supporting this has been incredible a uh, shared vision and mission with a lot of incredible people that I've got behind me. Um, I actually set out initially uh, on the journey of a nonprofit um, and um, I've been able to bring in so many different incredible volunteers that have helped build the brand. Um, and it's been kind of, uh, it's been tough. Um, but I've realized over the last probably the last six months that the narrative of a nonprofit um, brings with it uh, a lot of people begging bow mentality. And I think I've really felt that I needed to shift the conversation, uh, the conversations I was having, because um, it's really important that we have something more sustainable. And uh, that's where I felt, well, you know, Anua is um, Academy is um, set up here as a, an Irish limited by guarantee organization with the, the purpose of its, its, its uh, profits, for perf uh, profits for purpose, where we want to give back and be able it's all about the impact that we actually do. But yet it's um, generating funds and bringing funds in at the moment is really important. Um, it's, there has been a couple of projects with the Erasmus program, which is a European fund. Uh, that I've worked on and um, it's really you know funding now is something that I'm actually really looking for through sponsorships per, per, uh, would be really amazing uh, there's a lot of opportunities for corporates coming in and looking to help um, you know work with us um, because we actually have ways that we can actually bring them along with us on the journey and help build um, opportunities through affiliation sort of marketing um, so marketing and um, promoting them through our social media, our website, our metaverse as well that we're creating. Um, we're at that stage now where we're building the metaverse uh, with our, um, our, our own kind of academy within the metaverse and our global community. We've got a lot of them, um, basically got a, we've got a lot of um, young people within our community and uh, that expand from different parts of the world. Um, and then really now it's about the funding this has been very tough. Um, so I think that now it's about bringing in the right sponsorships and creating those packages and opportunities for people to get behind them and, and, you know, support the vision. Yeah. Uh, running a profit is very complicated. It, um, I do believe any form of impact should be sustainable. So yes. you can go 
with your own uh, revenue, with your own income, you can create more and more and more, helping more, creating more wealth in any terms to the people you want to help. Because yeah. when you rely on anyone give you the money, uh, it's, it's it starts to be very complicated. Yes. Very, very complicated. But my second question is, you are very, very well, very much uh, oriented to technology. And uh, where are based the yachts they are going to help? Because in Africa, there are no infrastructure at all. Good question, good question. Because Africa is obviously, um, it, you know, it, it is a nation, I know within our programs as well, I knew Africa is one that I really want to start growing and, and helping support. There is a project that we're actually looking to um, to work in support of Africa. And there's a lot of different, but I, I know the technical side of things is going to be really awkward. So uh, there is some um, partners of ours that actually there is some projects where they actually have a screen within their classroom and they, they actually um, bring in sort of talks into their school. Um, and that has been, you know, the, the most effective way to actually be able to bring in some talks. Maybe it could be a laptop or it could be a screen, but um, it is challenging. And um, I know that it's the funding we can bring in. And once we start bringing funding in, we can actually help develop more opportunities to be able to streamline and be able to, to do this. But obviously there's going to be parts of the world that are, that are really going to struggle to, to get that, you know, but uh, we that's where this, this, yes, go ahead. This is something that I, I want to touch as well. Now, yes. even in Europe, there are so many kids, so many, they don't even know what is a laptop. They do not even know what is internet. How can you reach them? So my question is, yes. are you going to have the funding to bring a laptop, an internet connection to yeah. this place? to use your service. Yeah, to absolutely, absolutely. I think this is the thing, raising funds and bringing in funds for NUA, what it really want to do is create opportunities for funds to go back out into helping people connect in with technology and be able to connect with the rest of the world. So bringing in scholarships and sponsorships and being able to support young people and give them a laptop and, and, and resources and ways that they can actually learn through technology is going to be really important. Um, you know, there's so much, um, there's so many resources out there and there's so much that we can actually teach them. But having those um, ways that they can do that is crucially important. So absolutely, it's, um, you know, sponsoring young people to be impactful leaders means that we have to give them the, the supports and the 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 um, the means to do that. So uh, whether that's laptops or whether that's phones, um, but it's, it's, it is crucial. Yeah, that they have access yeah. to that. Basically, on your experience, where do you see the main topics touching for these yachts to make them different from the one today, which are absolutely overwhelmed by soldiers? Uh, they are not becoming that smart. I'm very sorry, but uh, it's a huge problem. So, yes, the technology is fine, mm -hmm. but as everything depends how you use it. Technology yeah. is good if you use it in a good way, otherwise it can be extremely damaging. Absolutely. So are, where are you going to touch these yachts, make sure that it will be the good leader of tomorrow and not the bad one? Yeah. You know what? I think that if we could just teach young people and give them ways that they can actually learn about compassion, empathy, and be able to understand what it means to have those kind sort of leadership sort of skills, you know, we can do that. We have um, so many different ways to do that. And it's going to be really important how we actually help instill good qualities in our young people today. Um, the whole message of Anua and what we're looking to do and deliver on is all going to be about centered around how we can best support young people in our world uh, and empower them to be able to, um, you know, to do that. But leadership and kind leadership is, is totally so crucially important. Um, and, and teaching those sort of those skills and be able to understand 
um, those qualities. Our RAW program in particular is one that's always been the core, the very first essence of, of, um, of ANUA, which is the acronym, as I said. It's all about recognizing your value and your purpose in, in, in this world and how you can actually accept and, and with open awareness, accept everybody and the strengths that everybody brings. Um, you know, it just really it's education. We know education is power, really. And um, it's really important that we educate young people in the right way. Um, I'm bringing them, yes. You say something very right. Uh, a school, we teach them maths, we teach them any kind of, except how to deal with the life. Yeah. Uh, which is practically the most important thing. You can be the smartest on the, on the planet, but if you are not, for example, self-confident, it's going to be problematic for you. If you do not believe yourself, you do not accept yourself, even worse. So I agree that this should be the kind of teaching we should deliver in any school at yeah. any age at the very beginning. Mm. Absolutely. I think the thing is, Max, we all realize that that's where we need to be. You know, I think we all need to know that. I think that, you know, we're, we're at the moment, it's like, you know, a system that's preparing children for an industrial age that is not there anymore, you know, um, is we're actually evolving into we're in another age of technology. And, you know, I'm being so conditioned into believing that an old system and an old educational way of, of doing things is working, is not working. You know, the proof is that our, 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 our kids and our young people are out there in the world, they're really struggling. Um, and if they can't find ways to be able to deal with life um, and how to deal with those challenges and how to be able to have a better understanding of, of how to deal and cope, um, well, then we've failed them. You know, there's, it's, it's, it, we're failing. We're a failed society. Um, we know that the world has got such uncertain things happening in the world at the moment. And, and we need to be able to prepare these kids because that's going to be so crucial. Yeah. We've totally failed in any aspect. Uh, I'm fortunate we're running out of time, but let me finish with, uh, do you have any message for anyone who wants to support you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I would say just, you know, I think that, you know, anyone out there at the moment that feels compelled to help in any way and be part of something that we can all be, you know, we need to create a new movement. Uh, there is amazing, um, there is amazing work being done out there, but it's about really being very um, collaborative and working together, you know, uh, together we are stronger and together we can achieve so much more. Um, a really impact is really can be a struggle. And I think we need to support um, those organizations that are doing impactful work. We're one of them. <laughs> so, and uh, I'd love to hear from anyone that would like to get behind us and, um, and support us and, and share the vision of what the world could be, you know, um, and what we really need to be doing. But uh, yeah, so check out Anua Global. Uh, dot org and i uh, love to hear from anybody that feels the the urge to contact uh, me and find out more be delighted to speak to anybody but um yeah it's been great to talk to you today so thank you Karina, for coming thank you. thank you so much for coming take care